Mary Horton's first two years at North High School coincided with my last two years as high school teacher and coach. So in 2009, when I was recruiting my second class of tennis players, I knew of Mary, but she hadn't played tennis till her junior year. And uh, she was only mildly successful as a senior. Uh, I didn't think she was a great prospect, but two of her classmates who I had worked with told me, you need to recruit Mary. She'll get better, and you can coach her. And thank goodness they were correct. Now, it didn't happen immediately. In fact, Mary didn't make our lineup as a freshman, but Despite the fact that she was involved in both cheerleading and dance, in our off-season individual voluntary workouts, she pestered me uh, at least three times a week, if not more, to work with her on fundamentals, to get her to catch up. And she really did start to show improvement. That uh, hard work paid off in her sophomore year. Mary uh, had a winning record at number four singles, but we had to use her at number one doubles, and it was a tough year. She, of course, turned it into a learning experience and continued to show improvement. It was uh, also in her sophomore year that I came to realize like the movie title said, there's something about Mary. Her teammate Shannon Schrader said to me uh, when I was scheduling individual workouts, or group work, small group workouts, Coach, you've only got me practicing once a week with Mary. And you'd think that might be just friendship, but I came to realize that we had more fun, worked harder, and got more improvement if Mary was around. It really showed during Mary's junior season. Mary made all GPAC at number three singles. She and Shannon set a school record by winning 15 doubles matches and the team got a school record 14 wins. So things were much, much better. Her senior year was even better. She was all GPAC at number one singles, including a win, the only win anybody had that year over the conference player of the year. She led a group of mostly young players to within one match of making it to nationals. So from someone that I really wasn't expecting much of in three seasons, Mary won more matches than any woman who had played tennis for Morningside before her. She was named Academic All-American in both 2012 and 2013, served as captain of both the tennis and dance teams. Also, the Sioux City Journal editor, Bruce Miller, cited her for her great performance of The Hand Jive in the Morningside production of Grease. Mary improved better, improved more, showed better leadership than really any athlete I coached. And it gives me great pleasure to introduce the first women's tennis player to the M Club Hall of Fame, Mary Horton Olorindami.